GTX 750 Ti is already 10 years old. When it came out, it was by no means a high-end GPU, it was an affordable card for gamers on a budget. Its MSRP was 149 US dollars, but nowadays you can probably find it for around 30 US dollars depending on where you live. Now, other than its low price and good performance, people like it for other reasons as well. The card gets all of its power from the PCI slot itself which means that you could basically put this card in any PC and transform it into a gaming computer. At the time, this GPU could play pretty much any game, but let's see what it can do 10 years after its release in 2024.
I gotta say, you can play any esports games on this GPU. For some games such as Valorant, it is even overkill because even though Valorant was made in 2020, its requirements are extremely low and on medium settings, the game can barely utilize the full power of GTX 750 Ti when we have upwards of 200 FPS. Obviously, we won't be able to play AAA games like Cyberpunk at 60 FPS without completely ruining the resolution with upscaling methods just to achieve somewhat of a playing experience, but if this is the only GPU you have and you're willing to lower your resolution, I guess it's somewhat playable? Aside from that, if you only wanna play esports games, you're probably better off upgrading your processor because pretty much all of the current popular esports games require powerful CPUs and if a 10th Gen i3 is not powerful enough to show the full potential of a GTX 750 Ti, then I hope this is enough of a proof that you can still be a competitive esports player on a budget. Now I know we only tested 5 games today, but if you guys wanna see more, then head over to my second channel and see the benchmarks of a 750 Ti in 36 games. I will include the link of the video in the description below just in case. When I came across this GPU, it brought back so many memories because I spent good 5 years on a 750 Ti. It was actually the exact same model that I'm holding here. It was from EVGA and it was a super clocked model. I really enjoyed it. So let me know in the comments, what graphics card are you using right now? Do you like it? And would you recommend it? And I guess that wraps up today's video. I hope everybody had a great time. Happy Valentine's and I will most definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.